And now I'm excited about this event. Shackathon is here yet again. WT does this. So this is the fifth year, right? Right. Yes. Okay. I've done it before. It was fun. It was right. cold and mm -hmm. wet, and we only had cardboard. And you students nowadays get the carpet and the televisions, and you know, kind of make <laughs> it a little more snazzy than than what I had. But it's coming up. It's really cool for the community to go out there and be able to see too. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, Shackathon. Um, it's just like one of the biggest events that we have at WT. Uh, we have tons of events. Well, this is where five ministries come together. We put aside our theological views and mm -hmm. just try to paint a picture of what it's like to live in a third world country um, for the sake of uh, Give a Goat, which Matt here is going to be talking about. Okay. Um, so, yeah. so tell us about Give a Goat because they don't just sleep on the ground for no reason. It's a great cause behind all of this. Right. Uh, what we do is we have found in the Kenyan region of Turkana, mm -hmm. there has been devastating drought for like the last two years. And so the Christian Relief Fund, the organization here in, based here in Amarillo that we do this fundraiser through, uh, they have built water wells and because of that collected a huge number of people, especially a lot of orphans. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to, to help build an economy for those people and give them some, something to eat basically. So we get all these goats, we buy them in Africa, and okay. then we have them uh, doctored and delivered to these places. And we don't necessarily encourage them to eat the goats, but we want them to produce milk and, and start herds of more goats and stuff. In the past, we've raised over $50,000 in the last three years. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I was gonna say, you guys have always been very successful with this campaign. Yeah, the community and the, the churches that support the organization, the campus ministries that we're from, and churches and just individuals all over Amarillo and Canyon have really come out. So. Now this is Wednesday of next week. You guys are going to be hard at work building these. What materials can you use this year? Because I know there's always guidelines. Yeah, well, uh, we're basically just going to be doing the same thing. Cardboard, uh, pallets, mm -hmm. there's going to be uh, nails. Uh, you know, we're going to stay away from like nail guns, but just kind of try to keep <laughs> it as um, third world country-ish. If, if as possible right so uh definitely encourage uh, the city of amarillo to come out and and see what us crazy college students what we do in our spare time other than study all the time so mm -hmm. come on out and it'll be an awesome event as i've seen two story ones i mean they'll work so you need to stop by and check this out what time do you guys start building um we start building at 8 a.m that okay. wednesday morning 24-hour run uh, and then start taking it down that next day at 8 a.m well, guys, have fun. Good luck. Stay warm. I think you'll have pretty good weather, mm -hmm. so we'll try to keep that around for you. All right, thank you. We appreciate it. We'll be right back.